Hey kids, Grandpa here. Hey, one of the things I have to do up here in Alaska to stay warm all winter is make a fire in the wood stove. So, gonna kind of show you some of the chores I have to deal with on a regular basis. So, I'll show you how I make a fire. Here's my little wood stove. It's a, it's a cheap little Chinese guy. Not very expensive. I like to use a quick cross hatch pattern, which means I put a couple boards in there kind of like that. Let me see if I get it around where you can see. Kind of like that. And I get my little fire starter stick stuff. Get my matches. I find this little uh, cardboard fire starter stuff I bought here at the local store. Works really well. I've uh, got to admit I kind of prefer it over anything else for getting a fire going. I'm afraid my uh, matchbox is a little damp. This one's been sitting around the cabin all summer. Do a little moisture. Anyhow, we go ahead and get that lit. Do, 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 do. There we go. Get the matches off to the side. And we find some little small pieces of kindling. Whatever smallest pieces I got. Lay them down, cross hatch, another couple pieces on top. You know, I've been getting a lot of uh, nonsense comments from some people trying to tell me that, you know, fat old guy like me, I'm not in good enough shape to go sailing. And, uh, I want to kind of address that a little bit, just how ridiculous of a statement that is. Because anybody that has to survive living up here in Alaska, where I'm, where I'm cutting my own firewood, and uh, you know, going out in the woods and dropping a tree, cutting up the firewood and splitting it, and then coming in here and making fire, uh, <laughs> guys, that's work. That's just good solid old-fashioned work and to think that somebody who is fat and obese like I am can't sit in a sailboat and pull some ropes um, is absolutely ludicrous. I don't know who these people are who think that someone in my shape is too far out of shape to go sailing. It's just, it's just crazy. Uh, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. It really isn't. Now we're not talking about racing. I'm not running from one side of the boat to the other like you would be if you were doing you know, uh, some great big fancy race or something. You know, we're cruising, folks. We're sitting in a cockpit. Uh, maybe the boat's healing a little bit. We're, we're pulling the sheets. Maybe we're tacking from time to time. You know, I've known some people with sailboats that have set their sails uh, all the way over at the Canary Islands where they were aiming for a spot in the Caribbean and having never had to adjust their sails once in the entire crossing across the Atlantic. Um, you know, they got themselves on whatever tack they wanted to be on. It was a comfortable point of sail. The wind cooperated with the trade winds and they just shot straight across the Atlantic and you know 12 days later, 14 days later, not once had to adjust their sails. There are some times you have to tack back and forth to get out of a harbor. It's not that hard guys. This is not you know big huge physical labor. I don't know where anybody thinks that because someone is out of shape like I am that you can't sail. Sailing isn't exactly physically demanding so anyhow. I had to make my fire this morning. Thought I'd just talk a little bit about that. We'll catch you guys later. Please do like and subscribe, and we'll have more videos for you in the future. Thanks.